Yeah, yeah, what's poppin', man? It's the most infamous Todd Lady, you heard? Shout out to Pure Cash Entertainment, man. That's my peoples right there, you heard? Love and loyalty, man, just like that. What's up? Yeah, they can't do it like us. Move out the way when you see our tall buzz. Chains on my neck, bud in my pocket. My lifestyle is illmatic, bro. You can't knock it. Can't knock I'm about it. to take off like a fucking damn rocket. I only rock with solid dudes. What up, profit? Yeah. Niggas catch cases and beat them shits. Right. New York to Cali, home of the Bloods and Crips. Power rules, essays. I'm from where the Mets play. New York. Yeah, I'm connected, motherfucker. Catch me nut, crack it out, bent at the rucker. Time to the album coming soon, you sucker. Yeah, they can't do it like us. Yeah, they can't do it like us. Yeah, they can't do it like us. Move out the way when you see our tour bus. I live a big boy. Pure Cash Entertainment coming to you live with my man Ty Nitty. What's good, homie? What's good? What's good? Straight down for NYC. For those of y'all who might not know, Ty Nitty is one third of the original view from this mob. How did that go about? Uh, when you first got started, the whole from this mob. Uh, basically, on um, me, twins. Um, Godfather Part 3, we from the same block, you know what I mean? For the first side, 12th Street, so like, you know, and I'm um, happy, you know what I'm saying? He's from the same block, he's the coolest kid, running around, wowing, you know, doing crazy shit in the projects. And um, just being around Mob Deep, that shit rubbed off on us, like, you know what I'm saying? And we just started doing like, you know what I mean? On some GP kind of type of thing, though. That wasn't what we, I was playing basketball, you know what I mean? So I didn't really care about that. Got your debut album, uh, Special Edition. That came out 2002, yeah. right? Um, Special Edition, yeah, 2002, yeah. Okay, tell us a little bit about that album, putting it together and stuff like that. Um, basically, that was an album that we had that um was actually supposed to come out on Land Speed. You heard Land Speed? Yeah. It was supposed to come out on Land Speed, whatever. Uh, I mean, actually, it supposed to come out on, um, on Virgin Records. But uh, there was a little situation what happened with that as far as the business. And um, Lane Speed had picked the project up. Bob Perry, a lot of people know Bob Perry. You know what I'm saying? Um, he go by Costa now. So um, we threw that project out because we had got dropped for version. You know what I'm saying? It was a little bad business. It was going on with you when know, we part of the contract. And, you know, but we was young back then. They gave us 800000 We didn't even know what we was doing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ate off the off the budget, Mob D, Alchemist, Big Noy. You know what I'm saying? We were just having fun. I didn't even know how to rap then. I was just like just off the strength of everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? We was it was mobbing, it was a fun. But you know what I mean? Now everybody's drawn men now, so I take everything. I really consider myself an artist now. Back then, I was just like amongst with the whole crew, like, so we were just wild and the music was feeling good, so like wasn't well, let me do it, you know what I mean? But yeah, shout out to um, Special Edition, man. That was our first album we put out after the Virgin, after the Virgin deal, and it sold like 150,000. So definitely, you know what I'm saying? That's a big situation there. Bob Perry still owes some money for that too, man. I love Bob, you know what it is. That's how I want his money, man. Yeah. I need my guacamole, baby. Tell us about the transition to going as a group to going to a solo artist and what kind of made that move happen. Um, basically, um, time and life, you know, when, you, when you're younger, you move differently, you don't really have too many worries, um, you don't have to pay no bills, I ain't had no kids back then, so I didn't really care about a lot of, about a lot of things I was moving, I ain't care about life, period, you know what I mean? Um, but as I start growing, I started realizing, like, you know, the music is, that's how I get paid, that's how I get my money, okay. you know what I'm saying, so I gotta take that real seriously. And um, the people that was not with me, like for real, for real, not there for me, I kind of try to push that away. And the people that's in my corner, 100%, I want them to be behind me. Those are the people I want to keep around me, loyal people that, that helps me make better music for my fans that really want to want to see Todd Nady go to the next level. See, a lot of people, they want to hold you at a certain level, you know what I'm saying, so you won't get bigger than them. but. The way I think is everybody's on the same equal level. We all eat it. You know what I'm saying? We good. You know, cash money, your money, they family is that's a good family to be around. Like, you know what I'm saying? They they got that I like the way they, they loyalty is in, in, in place, you know what I'm saying? Right. 
I like that about, you know what I mean? When you get money, I don't care how much money you get. Like, before you had the money, and we only want you with friends, with friendship, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, things change, and people get money, and things get strange, but above everything, you gotta hold your head as an artist, as, you know, I'm a single father, you know what I'm saying? My um, daughter mom passed away, like, last year, year and a half ago, rest in peace, 3D. You know what I'm saying? I got my daughter with me 24 7. So I'm a father, CEO, I'm a model, you know what I mean? King Dudes model, love and loyalty model. I got a lot of jobs I gotta do, man. And then I got my personal life, I gotta live my life too. How many tattoos you have? Oh, I can't even count, man. I can't you can't when you got this much ink, man, it's like you can't really count it. It's just it's just called pieces now. Like my whole arms sleeved up, my stomach, everything is this is my biggest tattoo I got right here, screwball. Okay, but I got my whole back done. Um, I think pain is love, man. And everybody on me is basically rest in peace. You know, I come from a real rough back, background. Um, most of my family got murdered or, uh, you know, accidents and things like that. Rest in peace, Scarface Point. And, um, you know, um, my other best friend, you know, committed suicide. So, like, my life is real. I've seen it a lot. My, my brother got murdered, got shot nine times at Point Bridge. Cousin got murdered out there, so you know, like all of that stuff, it just makes me stronger. Like, yo, this is what I gotta do, man. I gotta, and I'm here for a reason. Like, I'm here to, you know what I mean, to do what I gotta do and, and shine. Like, God left me here for a reason. There's so many times that I could have, you know what I'm saying, got killed or anything. Like, I got shot twice in both legs, you know what I'm saying? Like, one of the bullets still in me in this leg, but you know, I'm strong, man. Like, you know, who's that in Queens? I got shot one time in Queens Bridge and one time in, um, in Jamaica Avenue. Mary Boulevard, one of them old clubs, whatever. And, um, I don't know, like, but, you know, I don't really think about the negative part of everything, but, um, like I said, I try to keep my family together so everybody can eat. And, you know, I don't deal with jealousy, so, you know, if people got jealousy around them and they circumference, I can't. So I really will not even be able to stay in the same room as them. I'm a tourist and you know, I keep it 100. I can tell a fake nigga from the door, like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it is what it is. Man. Yeah, I did a little bit of research on you. I looked on um, Wikipedia. I don't know if you checked that out. Nice. They got a whole section on time, maybe. Oh, yeah. So, you better yeah. look it up. Uh, one of the things they talk about is your affiliation with Mob Deep coming up. I use on a bunch of their albums and stuff like that. And then it says on um, the latest update in 2011, cut ties with Mob Deep. Yeah. So is there any like truth to that? Is it not or you know something? Um like basically it's not really I cut ties with them. It's just like I said, I got I'm older now. Yeah. Um I don't move how I used to move. You know, I'm a grown man now. My life changed with my daughter, so it's like it ain't no time for games, my nigga. If I can't get money with you, you know what they say, like F you, my nigga, like you know what I'm saying? But like me personally, um they doing what they do with their music. I got my own record label, Love and Loyalty Records, and um, I'm, I'm looking for new artists. We got we got a nice team. Um, shout out to Vinny Dunn, my manager, T Dad, my co. He's the um, he's the founder of Love and Loyalty. You know what I'm saying? Um, my record label, the my big homie, he actually started it. It started in jail. You know what I'm saying? With a couple of other his brothers. It wasn't no blood or crib. It was Love and Loyalty. Like you had that for your brothers. I don't, like, even if it wasn't in the or whatever, like, any type of MF13, whatever. Kept a hundred with your brothers, and they were like, that's what love and loyalty was about. It wasn't a game. It was like people standing on morals and principles of, the, of life, of, as a man, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's where that came from. He came home, and he brought it to me, and, you know, I was already in the music business, so he said, you know what, love and loyalty, that's gonna be the name of the regular. Like, you know, I got it on my knuckles, man. Got it on my face, double L, so, like, that's what I live and die by, you know. I found a, a YouTube video it was like seven to eight minutes long, you and your peoples, and it was dated back to around the time that Prodigy came out with his book. And mm -hmm. You seem pretty, pretty. So you wanted to get a point across in the video. Yeah. But how has that translated since then, as far as like people wanted to know your side of what's going on, or just? You know what I'm um, everybody, you know how it is, man. The media, they love, they love controversy. You know what I'm saying? They love things like that, but I don't really feel stuff like that. I just talk to the people because I'm an artist. And um, like I said, I got to feed my family. You know what I'm saying? I love money first. 
I love family first, and then the money comes. And who don't, who don't love money? You know what I'm saying? I love money, nigga. Like, you know what I mean? But pure cash. Pure cash, right, exactly. <laughs> the net all, nigga. Like, you know what I mean? But other than that, it's like, you know, um, for, the, for the people that, like, you know what I'm saying, want to see me and Prodigy go at it, it ain't no drama with me and Pete. Okay. I tell you that right now. I don't want to see nothing happen to the man. He, I mean, he do him. Like I said, that was just some, it was a miscommunication. And that was it, like, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't never, you know, people just blow it out of proportion. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't really, for me and him, we can't have no problem, no issues like that. I ran with him for over 10, 20 years. Like, like he got dragons on our hand, man. Like, this is a whole different level. It's bigger than me and him, like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? For the people that's gone, that was here with us, Starface Twin, my big brother, Screwball, Killer Black Havoc brother, um, Kiko, Marvel, Marvel cousin, like Yambo, the big homie. Um, it's like, you know, it's just crazy to see how what's going on. Man, I was like, wow, the big homies get like, what are y'all doing? Yeah. But I, I got no control over this, so I'm like, I'm an eye in my skin, my nigga. Anything I said, I mean, and I can back it up, whatever, whatever, that's how I go down, my nigga, like, but you know, for the most part, he do him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk music. Music, we got the My Lord You Like project about to drop on iTunes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, got like 14 like tracks. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do a book too for My Lord You Like. Yeah, you know, like he's me. Like like um, like just, you know, about me growing up in the Queens Bridge, how I moved from, from Hollis, Queens. Shout out to Run DMC, you know, I'm and Master J. I grew up in Hollis, moved to Queens Bridge when I was two years old. And just how I started from here, playing ball. Ron Artest, shout out to Ron Artest. Lakers, you know what I'm saying? Um, it just started off from there. I've always been competitive. And like I said, that music shit started rubbing off on me. Niggas drop shit on me. Niggas just running around, having fun. Young niggas getting money, living life, traveling the world. Man. Like, I can remember when we was in Cali, man. Like We was in Cali when the whole drama was popping. LA, LA. And, LA. Yeah, we was out there when it was on. And the like, once my niggas looking at us like, yo, yo, are you serious? Y'all niggas came to the show? Now, how we here? It was only me, Twin, Harry, and P, and my old. And God bless Scarface Twin. It's us. And Big and Bill booked us for that show. Come over from Cali. He was, you know, God bless his head. He died from a heart attack. He used to play football with Ship Knight. That was Ship Knight right here, man. You know, in high school, college, and was in Gordon. That was real. Ice T came through, showed us man love. He's like, yo, the mom, I love y'all niggas. You want to come here? Like, three big niggas, bro. Jerry Curl. Like, wow, niggas stay for the whole show. They almost popped that night, too. These niggas, like, LA, what's up with that LA? I'm a born star, my life is a movie like Pablo Escobar Three piece suits, all day photo shoots Mob style, Cohiba in my mouth I'm from up top, I'm heavy down south Oh boy, I think they like me I'm so icy, watch your wifey ACG down, only rock with Nikes Only rock with Nikes Yeah, they can't do it like us yeah, they can't do it like us Yeah, they can't do it like us Move out the way when you see our tour bus One take, nigga, one take nitty Know how we do, nigga, behind the scenes That's how we do it, just like that, believe that Shout out to all my Cali niggas, man. West Coast, Don, Cognac, Oz, Barlow, Double L on Forces, man. Free motherfucking Little Yak. Free my nigga Kate Pizzle. Free Bloody Ox, Uncle Judgment, and all that. Just like that. Bang, bang, kaboom. Pow.